I wanted to finally switch gears a bit and ask you about Grace Lee Boggs. Yes. Um, she stated recently um, uh, on her Facebook page, I'm coming to the end of a long journey, a journey that began over 70 years ago at the beginning of World War II. Grace is now 99 years old. She is the well-known activist, author, philosopher based in Detroit. Um, and as she has dealt in her life with Grace, I mm -hmm. think you could say, with like her first name, yes. she is talking about transitioning now. Yes, and with the same bravery that she stood and marched in front of drug houses and organized labor movements and um, it's very difficult for us who are very close to her, but uh, she's taking it on. You're in charge of her care? I am one of the two people. Shay Howe is also her other trustee, and we're just trying to love her and make her as comfortable as we can. But she's still saying, what time is it on the clock of the world? And we're, we're accountable to make sure we continue the type of work she and James Boggs. I wanted to go to a clip of Grace Lee Boggs talking about Detroit. Moved from New York, where I had lived a good deal of my life and where I went to school, to Detroit, because I thought that the working class in Detroit was going to rise up and restore, reconstruct the city. And I arrived at a time when the population was beginning to decline, when these working class was shrinking, and I had to begin learning from what was taking place. And that learning process is something that a lot of people are undergoing, and I think it's very difficult for someone who doesn't live in Detroit to say you can look at a vacant lot and instead of seeing devastation, see hope, see the opportunity to grow your own food see an opportunity to give young people a sense of process that's very difficult to get in the city, that the vacant lot represents the possibilities for a cultural revolution. It's amazing how few Americans understand that, even though I think filmmakers and writers are coming to the city and trying to spread the word. Grace Lee Boggs took a fall last month, and she's in hospice care at home. Rarely do you talk about someone as directly saying they're dying, but Grace is acknowledging this. She is. And in the face of it, trying to let us know what's going on and what it's like, and we're, again, we're just there with her. and. Loving her up. <laughs> well, Alice Jennings, I want to thank you for being with us. Lead attorney for Detroit residents fighting against the city's controversial campaign to turn water service off for unpaid accounts. Also on the board of the James and Grace Lee Boggs School and a close friend of Grace Lee Boggs. That does it for the show. I'll be speaking at the Lensic Theater in Santa Fe, New Mexico tonight. I'm Amy Goodman, broadcasting from Detroit.